Hi everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a 2x coins game pass and how to add a 2x speed game pass to the game. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files without having to follow the tutorial, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create the actual game pass itself. So what you're gonna do is go to the Roblox website, go to the create tab, and it should take you to this page. Just wait for everything to load. Yeah, it might take a while. And go to your creations. Just wait for it to load. Okay, so my creations are loaded, and what I'm going to do is try to find it. So mine is called Map, and it's right here. And just click View on Roblox. And then you're going to go to the Store, and press Add Pass. And then it will ask you to choose a file. Just click Choose File, and choose any image. So I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to call it uh, 2 times Speed. Now, I already created that game pass, but that does not really matter. Okay, so just click it, verify upload, and then you can click the gear icon over here, configure, sales, item for sale, and give it a price. So for me, it will be one Robux, because I don't really want to make it more expensive. And I'm going to press go to details. Now, what we're going to do is copy the ID of this game pass and to do that I need to exit our full screen and I'm gonna need to copy this uh, number right here so just copy this big number right click copy and then save it on your notepad or whatever you want so I'm just going to put it on a notepad document text document and then I will save it and I'm going to go back to Roblox Studio Okay, so I'm back in Roblox Studio, and what I'm going to do is add a script, and it's going to be called Game Passes. Now, in this script, we need to get Marketplace Service, so local Marketplace, Marketplace Service is equal to Game, Congress Service, Marketplace Service, and Local Players is equal to Game, dot Player, Game, Congress Service, Players, and players dot player added can connect function and that will take the player now what we're gonna do is okay so we will need a p call so before that we need variables for our ids so local times to speed id is equal to and just paste in your id so i just pasted it and now what we're gonna do is local success error msg is equal to p call function and local has um, two times two times two x speed is equal to false and what I'm going to do in here is has two times speed is equal to marketplace service on user owns game pass async and that will take the player dot user id and it will also take the id of the game pass so two times speed id now what i'm going to do in here is if success then so if success then what we're going to do is a uh, local character is equal to player dot character or player dot character added dot character added column weight wait and if character then so if the character is there then character dot humanoid dot walk speed is equal to 32 the default walk speed is 16 by the way so you can just change it to whatever you want now what i'm going to do is play the game and see if whatever i did works so if i play the game right now i should be able to walk fast but not that fast so i'm going to change it to something more by the way, I was able to own the game pass because uh, because I actually own it, so that's why that's why I spawned uh, with a walk speed of thirty two. Now it should be fifty, which is way better, and I think now it's an actually useful game pass to buy. Okay, so now what we need to do is make a button from for uh, prompting that game pass. 
So what I'm going to do is go to main SS, frames, uh, open pet inventory. I'm just going to duplicate it and drag it somewhere. And I'm going to call it open. Uh, I think it will be um, two times speed. And I'm just going to put it right here. Right in the center. In the center. So I'm going to resize it to make it a bit smaller. Position it right here. And then what I'm going to do is change this uh, text label text. So text. And I'm going to change it to a... Um, to a speed emoji or maybe a lightning emoji. So lightning emoji. And yeah, that does look pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is add a local script to this. So just add a local script and just call it prompt. Call it prompt. And what I'm going to do in here is uh, get marketplace service. So local marketplace marketplace service is equal to game colon get service marketplace service and local times two speed ID is equal to marketplace service. Uh, actually, sorry, I'm just going to paste in the ID. And what I'm going to do now is local function prompt. Uh, purchase prompt game pass purchase and what I'm gonna do in here is give it the uh, ID so uh, player so I will just take the ID so ID and now we also need to get players so local players is equal to game calling get service players and then we need to get the actual player so local player is equal to players dot local player and then what we need to do is marketplace service. So uh, marketplace service call prompt game pass purchase, and it will be called. Uh, it, it will take the player and the game pass ID, which is two times speed, two times, or just the ID itself. Okay, so now script.parent dot mouse button one click on connect function and prompt game pass purchase and it will be two times times two speed ID. Now if you play the game, it should prompt it. So if I click this, it could ask me if I want to buy it, but as you can see it says I already own it, so nothing happens. And it also opens the pen inventory, so I need to get rid of the script that does that. So, there should be a script somewhere in here that makes it open that. Just remove this opens value, and now it should work. So, now if I press this, it should ask me if I want to buy this game pass. Now, what we're going to do is make a times two coins game pass. So, same thing, I'm going to go back to Roblox. Uh, uh, to the Eurobox website and create a game pass. So just do it again. Uh, I'll go make one and I'll be back. Okay, so I just uh, made a game pass and I called it times two coins and I just copied its ID. Now I'm going to go back in here into the game passes uh, script and I'm going to type in two times coins ID is equal to and just type in the ID. Now what I'm going to do is Local success, just same thing. Local success, comma error MSG is equal to pcall function. Actually, no, that that doesn't make any sense. I think the best way to do it is just with a pcall function. And actually, never mind. I'm just going to put this back and copy it, paste it right here, and I'm going to type in success two comma error MSG two. Now what I'm going to do in here is local has two times coins is equal to false and has two times coins is equal to that comma times two uh, coins ID. 
Now what I'm going to do in here is uh, if uh, success to then what we're going to do is player. So uh, right here, as you might know, we have a um, values folder. And what I'm going to do is add a uh, end value and it will be called coin multiplier. So coin multiplier and wait, no says value to one and name it coin multiplier now player dot values dot coin multiplier dot value is equal to one to two sorry and now everything should work now what i'm going to do is make a button for prompting that so i'm just going to duplicate this one put it in here and just center them again. I think somewhere around here is good. And what I'm going to do is rename this one to times two coins. And I'm going to change the uh, text of the text label to this money emoji. So uh, this money emoji right here. And I'm going to add the ID. So I'm going to go back here and just copy this, put it in here. And just change this to that. And now if I play the game, my coin multiplier should be set to two. So players prog values, uh, coin multiplier. And if I, okay, so the value is two. And what I'm gonna do now is enter my main script and make this game pass actually work. So, uh, where is it? So whenever we give the player some coins, what I'm gonna do is math.round coin award divided by five. Okay. Uh, I think the best way to do it is in the collecting. Uh, so right here in the give coins, uh, remote. What I'm going to do is plus equal this. So just do this. Multiplied by player dot values dot uh, square brackets times the uh, coin coin multiplier dot value. Now if you play the game, this should work. So if I go ahead, equip a pet. Um send it right here by the way i changed the damage of this to 100 so that it collects it fast and because i own this i should be able to get twice as many coins as i used to get without the uh, game pass okay so that's going to be it for today's tutorial uh, in the next video i'm going to be showing you how to add currency purchases and yeah that's pretty much going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped please make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you all in the next video bye